Hello everyone, welcome. Final session of the day. Um, this session is about bringing Matic and Drupal closer together. So it's a community session. It's a bit business, bit marketing, bit community, bit, you know. Uh, the goal of the session is to raise awareness about Matic and the powerful options uh, it brings uh, in combining it with Drupal. So, let's get started. First, who am I? I'm a co-founder, co CEO of uh, DropSolid. Been uh, in uh, software engineering um, in Drupal community for 15 years. And uh, yeah, I have uh, I've some experience with uh, starting up companies as well. And I'm passionate about technology, building businesses, strategy, digital experience. So, first, who knows what Matic is? Okay, so almost everyone, okay, but it's good. I will explain it. So, Matic is actually the largest open source marketing automation project. Uh, it's, it's like the, the, the Drupal of the marketing automation. Uh, so what does it do? It helps to automate repetitive tasks, uh, things marketeers have to do. So, yes, I'm still find, trying to find a way to get developers excited about a marketing product. But in fact, Drupal is in many ways also a marketing product. So I think it's not uh, entirely impossible. Uh, but what are the things it does like it does things like marketing automation lead generation contact segmentation i was talking to this gentleman there i don't know what the, what is your name david. david yeah he was telling me we use it in hr we use it to do newsletters we do we use it to do marketing uh, all kinds of applications and it has a lot of potential. It's still a young product. Uh, it's been around, I think, since 2015. Um, it is a vibrant ecosystem of marketers and developers. Now let's talk a little bit about its community to just see like, uh, what, what, what are we talking about here? So Mate community is actually growing. Uh, it's growing with uh, 200 members every three months. Uh, there are 600 active contributors. There's 30,000 active installs. HubSpot has 600,000 installs, of which 120,000 paid. So HubSpot is still 20 times bigger. Uh, that's its main competitor. It's competing in that space, but it's growing and it has a lot of potential. Uh, who's in, involved in the space? Like, if you look at the, the companies who are funding uh, and, and, and doing the community work, you will see uh, companies also active in, uh, in the Drupal space. And so there's already an, uh, an overlap between uh, those two communities. Now, how is it run? It's, it's actually very flat management. They have a, a new governance model as of this year. Uh, so the community became independent uh, through the open collective uh, entity. Uh, it used to be under, under Aquia, but now it's in, an independent uh, run project. Uh, Matic 5 is going to be released in 2024. Uh, and it's being run super transparently, like it uses the open startup model, so they they publish all their costs, revenues, whatever, the whole thing, you can just follow up on it. Uh, you can just see it, all, all the graphs I have, I have it from, yeah, it's just transparent, so you can, you can follow it up. But now, how does it compare to uh, a big community like, uh, like Drupal? Eh? So if you look at Drupal, uh, it's one million, so it's a bit, uh, a lot bigger. Uh, 8,500 active contributors, so that's almost like 1.2 times bigger, 120% bigger, uh, um, at, sorry, 10.2 uh, times bigger. Uh, and Drupal, even though the, 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 the big years of users coming in was, is already uh, quite some time behind us, believe it or not, Drupal is still growing with 2,000 new users every month. And the only thing that's different is that the number of installs of Drupal is decreasing and with Matic they are increasing. Uh, so we know all 
the answer for that because Drupal is moving more in the enterprise space. Matic is still uh, it is used in enterprise, but is also used in uh, lower enterprise and also in uh, small and medium businesses because of its power to send emails. Uh, it's also very active there now. What is in the product? So it's just good to know, I think, to, to know what is in the product. Eh? Um, I selected the uh, nine main features. Uh, so obviously contact management. So what happens uh, if you surf on a website, all the behavior is being tracked in a database. So what you see is like, okay, you see all the pages that has, have been clicked, uh, the forms that have been submitted points that are being gained, you can set this all up as a, as a marketeer. Uh, and then at a certain point, somebody submits an email address and then the whole history is attached to someone we know. So that's one of the main, the main features. Uh, it's called contact management. So that's how we identify the users. Then once you have many people in your database, that are in this way being identified, you can start to segment them. Like certain characteristics based on traffic behavior, uh, industry, uh, whatever they downloaded, uh, you know, like their language, you can, you can build segments. Um, and then these segments, they can be used to drive campaigns. Uh, and then also in those segments, what you also can do is not every lead is as hot as, uh, yes, maybe someone just visited your website and downloaded something, but then someone really like revisited uh, your solution page and downloaded your case and did a lot of stuff. Uh, they get a lot of points, so these leads score higher. So that's also something. And then of course it has a builder, an email builder, just like you have the layout builder in Drupal to build pages. You have a similar drag and drop system to, to easily build emails and to copy emails. There's even um, a module, a plugin um, that, that we developed that grabs the content from the Drupal website and builds emails automatically. Like and then you can map them on your segments and like send everybody a personalized email basically. Then there's reporting, of course, you can do it inside the tool. You can also connect it with the API to uh, Google Analytics uh, or Google Data Studio to get more uh, whatever you want uh, from analytics. Um, and then I think this is one of the most powerful features. It's the multi-step campaign. Uh, multi-step meaning that yeah, you all know that if you want to buy something or you go on a website, you get that chain of emails based on your behavior. You can set this up with this easy rule builder uh, where you, yeah, where you basically set up conditions and then triggers and then emails get sent or points get distributed, whatever you want with delays, everything is there. So it's, I think is this is like, most powerful feature in uh, in Matic. Um, and a form builder, of course, to capture the information, which you can then put on the website. And then the preference center, it has a preference center because yeah, in some countries, uh, especially here in uh, the, the EU, have to comply with uh, GDPR laws. So um, yeah, you need to set this up so people can manage their data. Embed in the website, there's also a module for that. It's called uh, Matic Paragraph. It's also a module that uh, DropSolid has uh, contributed a lot to. Um, it does other things as well. As so uh, if you want to know how to connect it with uh, Drupal, you just install a Matic instance and then you connect it with the Matic module in, uh, in Drupal. Uh, you have to fill in the keys and then uh, and then your site is up and running. So this is the, the Matic paragraph, um, which allows you to use it in uh, in the paragraphs. Uh, and I believe it also does some other stuff as well, but uh, we'll not go into detail. You just try it. What else is there? If you go look in the directory for Drupal.org, you will also see there's some stuff for commerce already out of the box. Uh, some stuff for cookies, um, 
So yeah, integration is pretty easy. But now, okay, Matic and Drupal, why is it such a great combination? Um, well, actually, with Matic and Drupal, you can, if you combine them, you can deliver to your customer something what is called a DXP. And you might think, I uh, had this, this uh, feedback from uh, many developers, like, okay, uh, DXP is just another marketing term for selling uh, CMS. Uh, is the same, uh, uh, how in Dutch we say, uh, old, uh, old wine in new bags. But actually, there is an, uh, a very big difference between a CMS and a DXP. And it's all about putting the customer central and using the data from the customer. So in CMS, we have content management. It says it, eh, that's what it means, content management. But in DXP, we are managing digital experiences. And the difference is the data that is being used. So you're going to use everything from the, yeah, the integrations. You would do the same in a, in a CMS, but you will also use the behavior data of the user to trigger stuff, to put stuff on the website. And that is not what is happening in a standard CMS experience. Uh, it does, doesn't do that out of the box. Uh, how could a simple setup of a DXP could look like? Uh, you could have a Drupal, which powers the experience layer, and then you have the data layer where you have something like marketing automation, like Matic, which could also act as a, a simple customer data platform. If you want to go all the way and connect other data streams, other behavior, you need to use a full-blown CDP. But in fact, if you use Drupal and just Matic, you can have a lightweight DXP, which ticks the boxes and which uses behavior data to drive the experience. So what would be the benefit of bringing those two communities closer together? So the benefits of this would be, I think the Drupal community has tremendous development power, like the resources it has to build and deploy new features, the innovation we are driving, uh, the developers there, like the quality of development. If that could be brought to the Matic community, I think that product could even uh, evolve to a higher level. Yeah, if we to do this work. And for example, Matthias, uh, it was director of engineering at TropSolid, who you can meet at, uh, at the boot. Uh, he's the, the product lead of the Matic product. Um, so, of course, I want to raise the awareness if anyone as a developer thinks like, okay, I want to be part of this. And we have several developers here at TropSolid who used to be Drupal, who do still do Drupal development, but also do the Matic development. So it's not that difficult to become a Matic expert next to a Drupal expert, which would also make you a DXP expert, which also would increase your capabilities as a developer on, uh, yeah, on your resume. And making an impact on Matic is really easy. Like if you want to work on the core, you can have your patches accepted in days or weeks instead of months or quarters or even years in Drupal because things evolve quicker, so you can also make more impact in, uh, in Matic, and you can combine this impact also what you're already doing in, uh, in, in Drupal. Um, so you can also, we also try to bring a bit together all the efforts that we are doing in Project DXP, which is drupal.org slash project slash DXP, where we want to bring the, our uh, distribution, uh, not a couple of starter kits, but also the work we're doing with Matic and Drupal. We all want to bring this together under one project, which also will make it easier to just install Drupal and Matic out of the box. This is still a work in progress, so you won't find a, a lot of things there. Um, but keep an eye on it. Um, we will evolve it uh, in the future. And now, okay. Is anyone here owning an agency? Yes, great, good. Selling Matic and Drupal together is also a business opportunity. Yeah. So what is, the, what is the business opportunity? 
But if we look at Trop Solid, we are selling it together. Uh, so what we sell to the customer is a digital experience. Yeah. All the way from strategy, UX design, and then the Matic and the Drupal integration together on a platform which runs it securely and scalable in a scalable way uh, and also the compliance which goes with it and this actually gives you a, a superior uh, value proposition over competition that is only selling Drupal or only selling development services so I think it's also uh, a business opportunity and um, I heard some stories here that there are actually some really big Matic projects of hundreds of instances out there uh, that require development power to evolve it further. So even if you're a development shop and you're offering uh, Drupal and Symfony, you could also start offering Matic services and uh, maybe those clients will come to you uh, to evolve them. Now, um, as I said, at Drupal and Matic, it's all PHP Symfony, so the developers, they can pretty much learn also Matic. It just needs like a little kickstart and some extra time in the first projects, but it's not impossible uh, to learn. Uh, for example, uh, Jasper and I do. I know you don't like the attention, but I'm still gonna do it. Uh, you <laughs> he did. <laughs> uh, so, and then another opportunity: Are there any marketing managers from agencies or companies here? No, they're not here. Yeah, it is a developer conference mainly. I hear Drupal. So, but if you would be in marketing, or even in your agency. You could use it for your own agency to do your marketing, to drive your campaigns, to do your own marketing. Like I was impressed like for Drop Solid and we're an agency, 80 people in Belgium, mostly working for the local market. Uh, we do have international customers with the platform and everything, but I'm surprised that after one or two years of use, we had tens of thousands of contacts in our database just from downloading stuff at the website and it's at, at a certain point it just starts to generate demand from within like returning custom uh, returning leads and i'm really impressed what a marketing automation platform can bring to the business especially if you combine it really well with your sales so, I come to the conclusion of this, uh, this session. So why bring Drupal Matic together? So I think, uh, of course, Drupal can bring the, the power to, to the Matic. Uh, Matic, for me, is a piece of the puzzle to complete Drupal to become a real DXP. I know on Drupal.org we say that uh, Drupal is a DXP, but actually to really become a DXP, it needs that data component. It needs to, yeah, use the data to create the experience, to personalize pages, to personalize emails, to have the behavior data. Uh, and Matic can bring this. Uh, it brings marketers and developers together. And I think out of the box, it can beat a lot of proprietary stacks. But because if you look at proprietary uh, value propositions, they will send it to you and they will say like, okay, yeah, but our thing just has the whole personalization out of the box with AI, with everything on it. And okay, yeah, you have to build your Drupal and do all your integrations and, and all these things to even achieve this, what we can deliver you today. So making that easier, that it's that Drupal also just do, does this out of the box, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's an opportunity. So how, eh, if you want to contribute together, come to uh, the Drop Solid boot, talk to us, to our engineers, uh, learn how we are doing things with, uh, with Matic. Uh, if you want, you want to sell in your agency, yeah, making a value proposition around TXP with Drupal Matic can increase the return. Uh, of course, you can build it together, your Drupal developers can do it, and you can also market together 
use it as a platform to drive growth for uh, your business or your organization. So uh, that's it. Are there any questions? It's six, uh, but there's no one coming behind, so I think we can take five minutes. It's a lot of information. Normally, I do this presentation on 40 minutes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Another speaker talking about Matic and Drupal Commerce. Drupal Commerce, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Any other questions? Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if questions come, you can find me at the Drop Solid booth. And I thank you for uh, showing up. <laughs>